have any other video games for sale, would you? And then the Wii stuff? I have some Xbox 360 stuff. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, this one's broken. If you fix these things, you can take it for free. How much would you guys do for the three controllers and the system? Which system? Um, this one's broken, so you can just have it. Okay. There's something, I went oh, red. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the red ring of death. Yep. Um, for the three controllers? I think you said like, uh, it's $10. Okay. Good morning. Yeah, I do that. You have change for 20 Yeah, I have to run in and get it. Okay. okay. What's up, Internet? Corey Zamier here. Oh, the, come on. Hold on. What? That was lame. Just what's up, Internet? Ooh, what's up, Internet? You gotta get hyped. Corey Zamier here. Collecting with Corey. Weekend Adventure in Video Game Hunting. As you see, we already have our first pickup. The Band-Aid is off. Got an Xbox 360 original for free. Um, and three controllers one of them's a rock candy controller. I don't know anything about that shit. It's probably garbage. I uh, paid $10 for the controllers, but the thing that's attached to the 360, as we saw, a wireless adapter. That goes for about 20 So, doing pretty good already. Let's hope we have some luck and we actually find some stuff I want to find. Oh my god, that's a stop sign. Same for this one? No, that's this and this. I forget. She's. I don't remember.
Okay, so as you were about to see there, we had to cut the last sale a little bit short. They had more games over there, but they were sitting right next to porn DVDs, and uh, there was some shit I couldn't really show on YouTube that was recorded, so. Yeah, moving on. Alicia came across these weird trivia cards weird. that just for some like reason some have Mario characters on them, <laughs> even though they I'm don't assuming. pertain to Mario. Does anybody know what these are from? I didn't pick them up. I just thought they were really weird. I probably should have. Who knows? Because the questions don't pertain to Nintendo. They just have Nintendo characters on them. And then if you look on the back, it's just, uh... Like regular trivia oh, stuff. What was this in here? Yeah. Fuck the weekend adventure. This is the Pokemon Go adventure. Your boy just caught a dragon eye in the wild. Do you know about it? I'm a beast in these streets. I have any older video games. Yep, right on the bottom, the Nintendo 64. Oh, okay. All that together. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. I wouldn't doubt that, yeah. Well, I collect for pretty much everything. For I do. Sometimes I fucking hate the editing process just because I catch all the things I missed <laughs> when I was there. He just said that they might have other stuff tomorrow, possibly Nintendo or Atari. Yeah, I know, like we'd have to travel for like 15 minutes to to get that N64 bundle. Did you take it out of the house? It, it was sitting out there. But as you guys saw, N64, whole mess of boxed games, Star Fox. Mario Kart 64, not in the best condition, um, but in a box protector, you know, it's whatever. It'd basically be rebuilding my entire 64 collection that I'd sold off, but she wants $100 for it. And I know the value's there, but we've, I don't even know where the closest ATM is. We're in Plymouth, we're on a lake. Um, we had $73 and she literally won't move off of 100 so. We're actually going to leave it behind. Um, feel free to tear me apart in the comments below, but that's just that's just the way it is, you know. Um, let me know if you would have bought it, what you would have done. Like I, I literally, I didn't catch it on film because I was haggling hard. I offered her literally all the money we had on our persons, including the change in the car, and she wouldn't budge. So. A few moments later. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna head back, because there literally was an ATM right down the road. Um, Felicia says that she did see other people show up at that tag sale right before we left, 
which I didn't notice. Um, so hopefully they're not going to pick that up. But the, the, the recouping is definitely there. Oh my god, we're going to die. I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is like a racing game. But anyway. For the games they have, the recouping is definitely there. And I, I basically talked myself back into it. Just because if it's recouping and it's going to end up being profit, even if it's only a little profit, it's worth the investment. Um, that Okay. Just passing the street. You want to go around the lake? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. My bad. Anyways, let's hope it's still there. I'm going to cross our fingers and hopefully make this purchase in a second. Season three. Um, Season three. Monster truck ones are no good. Huh? What's up? Monster truck ones are no good. Oh, I don't know. I'm like legit ready to play hot potato with this thing. It's so fucking hot. It's been baking in the sun. But I had this sealed. And I got it at a thrift store a while ago, so. Figure 75 cents for it ain't bad if it goes for around 10 in that condition. All right, guys, let's take a look at what I was able to find on this weekend adventure in video game hunting. <sighs> Finally. Finally a good week. Unfortunately, this week is 100% recouper. 100%. And when it's all said and done, if my calculations are correct, it should be about... $300 profit, almost, almost $300 profit. Let me know in the comments below if you believe that or if you agree, disagree, whatever. I, I know a lot of people on YouTube that actually talk about recouping often, I, I assume they exaggerate, but I'm going to hopefully provide you with some realistic numbers here uh, for what I can remember because I looked this up like two days ago. It's now Monday. And it's time to get this video done. Uh, first thing we came across was at a garage sale that was literally just setting up. They listed a whole bunch of games on their actual listing, none of which were interesting. Like the Adventure Time games for the 360 is not exactly something I'm looking for. I have them on the 3DS already. Uh, they did have this out. And if we can read here, Broken. Free for parts, Red Ring of Death. Always nice to know because they could have very easily tried to sell this as is, or you know, as a working console. What would anybody know? It's a tag sale. The cool thing is, it had this wireless adapter connected to it. Now, this goes for about $20 on its own. If you sold recently, don't know what I'm going to do with this. I might actually just leave this as is and maybe put like a dollar or two price sticker on it for my next tag sale because I obviously want to make something on it. Like why, if I'm going to give it away for free, I might as well throw, throw it in the fucking trash right now. Um, so I'll make a, like a dollar or two on that. But it also had some controllers. And now mind you, for the controllers alone, it came with three controllers. One of them is a rock candy blue and then two original white Xbox controllers in eh, condition. 
Uh, the Rock Candy one, I was surprised to find that Rock Candy controllers are actually selling decently on eBay for like $15 to $20. So I spent $10 for these three controllers. So I'm already in the green with just that one. And then these go for about $20 each. They seem to work fine. The only problem is I always, I'm, I was always a stickler for this when I cared about 360 was the main analog has like the nubs pretty much worn down to almost nothing. And I never liked that, but for most people it probably works just fine. So you figure another $40 in controllers right there and a fucking cable that I'll probably include in my tag sale or something, I don't know. Just a charging cable. Now, the next sale we hit that had video games had some weird porn, as I probably had to edit out of the video. Uh, they had their video, some of their video games were sitting next to a stack of porn, and you could very clearly see some shit. Uh, so I probably had to edit that out. I haven't edited the video yet, but they wanted five dollars each on these games, and they also had the Batman Arkham Asylum statue for the Xbox 360. Which, if they didn't want twenty-five bucks for that, that would be displayed somewhere in my room. I always thought that was a really cool uh, statue. Now I kept that and got rid of the rest of it, but you know, Batman's awesome. So I was able to haggle them down to four dollars each on these. Not the best haggle. But we got, for the 360, the orange box, and I thought this would be worth more. I know the PlayStation 3 version of this is still pretty expensive at GameStop. And honestly, I haven't looked at 360 stuff at GameStop in well over a year, so maybe the price is tanked. I know it's been selling for like $8, I believe, on eBay recently. And unfortunately, I didn't notice this until I got home. And I see this with Xbox games every so often, and honestly, I haven't noticed it affecting how they play, but it would affect how I'd be able to sell it. Um, see if it even shows up. There is a slight crack right here. Right there. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, you can barely see it. But... I always feel awkward about selling something like that, so I'll probably save that for my tag sale, maybe make nothing on it, honestly. But these other two games should go for about $10 each, so not a bad deal seeing as I spent $12 on them, all three of them. We got Xenosaga 1, not going to bother to pronounce the German on it because I can't, and Dark Cloud, both in pretty nice shape. I'll actually have to check, it might be in better shape than the ones I have in my collection. I was actually surprised at how good of condition they were. Uh, I might be going a little bit out of order now, but at a random sale for 25 cents, I got Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing. I butchered that. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. Complete. They also had the worst condition disc-only copy of Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii. I, I didn't even want to take it for 25 cents because it would just be a hassle. Like, it was, it looked like someone committed, like, fucking hate crimes on that thing. Like, they took a screwdriver to the back of it. Like, that's not just natural scratches. Like, that's, you wanted to fuck this game up scratches. So I left that at a random sale for 75 cents. Yeah, 75 cents. The price sticker's still on here. Got a random recouper Power Ranger wallet from 1993. I actually have, pull it off since it's right here, the exact same wallet sealed in the package from a thrifting video. So I figure I'm trying to get like 15 for the one that's sealed, maybe get like anything more than a dollar, you know, and it's worth it. And not if I sell it on eBay, but hopefully I can get like 10 to $8 for that. It's in really nice condition. Now that would have been it and as you saw in the video that wasn't it everything else I got from one sale and at first I had walked away from it and then I went back as soon as I realized the ATM was like right down the road and I started doing like the math on eBay like how much stuff was worth because if, if you don't know I don't collect for N64 I, I don't really have any 
positive nostalgia about it. Like, the only thing about N64 is I used to play Goldeneye with my friends, and I sucked. Like, uh, that's the easiest way I could put it. I, I sucked at basically every N64 game I ever tried to play. I could never get used to the controller. It was always their system. They'd whoop my ass. I, like, in Smash Brothers, honestly, that was my favorite game on the system, and I would struggle to just remember how to play it. That's how bad I was. Anyways, only reason I picked this up was because I was adding up some of the totals on, like, if the games were complete, which some of them, which most of them are complete. Not the best shape, but as you're going to see, I have them in box protector, so that's going to help quite a bit. The loose games were... Diddy Kong Racing, and the aforementioned GoldenEye 007. Now, these are about, well, Diddy Kong's about 10 to 15. I'd say GoldenEye is now about 15. I've seen some sol sell for about 20. Uh, the rest of the box games, we have Wave Race 64. And this one's actually in pretty nice shape. Um, I think this one was going for about 25 NBA hang time which actually just looks kind of like NBA jam I think that's what I heard I think the hang time series was kind of like NBA jam I think that one goes for about 15 cruising USA that one's about 15 and then the three big titles that I didn't really want to leave behind we got Super Mario 64, and you could look these up on eBay yourself, because the price I'm going to say is what I remember. It might not be what is current by the time this video pops up, because remember I'm like three weeks behind, or three weeks ahead, however you want to look at that. But Super Mario 64, I believe I was seeing this go anywhere from 50 to 75 at the time I had checked. Star Fox 64, honestly, probably my favorite boxed game for the 64 i've had this before i sold it to sold it or traded it to a friend at a trade event something michael um i love this because it's a fucking solid box like look at this i don't have a box protector for this one but honestly it looks fucking nice without it um this was the game that really turned me around once we saw the atm because the latest sold listings like the last three at the time we're in the $75 to $80 range, which is a lot more than I remember this game going for. And then, of course, the last one, Mario Kart 64. As we know, this is about $60 to $80, depending. Um, condition, it's not too bad. Like, the, the main thing is the top is, like, bowing a little bit, but once it's in a box protector, like I said, you can barely even notice. Now... That's not it. It also came with some controllers. I haven't cleaned these up or tested the system, to be honest. But we got the basic blue one. And all these controllers, the sticks are in about the same condition. Not too bad. Like, I wouldn't consider these loose. But they, based on the games, they also didn't have any Mario Party to fuck up the controllers. So it's not too bad. The yellow one, when I first saw this, I thought it was the banana controller for Donkey Kong. A gray one, this one's probably in the worst condition just because of whatever this is. It looks like someone pooped in the uh, directional pad there. Gonna have to clean that out. And last but not least, a red controller. And like I said, all the sticks are about the same. This one has a little extra maraca action. Might have to open that up and take a look. But. Even for just an N64 system, without the expansion pack, just the jumper pack, could easily get at least $50 to $60 with all those controllers and the hookups, as long as it's tested and works perfectly. I don't know if I've done all the math for everything that I've shown you, but I remember getting to about $292 is the profit that I'm looking at, so... Even though I spent $100 on a lot that I almost would never do, and I was actually iffy on it at the time, but I'm very happy I did. Hopefully everything sells. Like I've said in the past in other videos, we're saving up for a house now, so I can move out of this 
like 10 by 10 room that two people live in. Two people. It is literally 90 degrees in here right now. That's why you could hear a fan. I'm not turning that off. I'll die. The video will never get posted. But let me know how you're doing on your weekend adventures if you also go video game hunting. Let me know how you're liking the show. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, keep it real, Internet. I love you guys. Thank you.